I was just scrolling my TV and I realized on YouTube, I realized uh, there was a message from Brother Chris of forgiveness. From that moment, I listened to the mute, to the message. I just find that I was just crying. It just hit my heart that I need to forgive for me to receive the, the, the God's favor, God's healing. Yeah, I needed to forgive everyone who has offended me. Wherever that sickness is located, on the inside, on the outside, whatever name that sickness is called, in that mighty name of Jesus Christ, I declare supernatural healing today. Receive your healing. Receive your freedom. Receive your restoration. Receive your healing in Jesus' name. My name is uh, Belinda Muyengwa. I'm a Zimbabwean from South Africa. I reside in South Africa, Cape Town, uh, precisely. I had the problem with um, my leg, which is platter fasciitis. It is the, the pain, the severe pain of the heel. I left my leg and it was so painful. Um, it started two years back. Um, I'm a caregiver uh, in one of the facilities here in Cape Town. So it was just a challenge because you have to be on your, on your feet all day long. And I couldn't walk properly. I couldn't drive. I would drive, but if I came back home, I would feel that no way. The pain is so much. As a caregiver, as I said, I'm a caregiver in one of the facilities. I even asked the sister in charge if she had an idea how to, to prescribe me of any medication for the healing because I could walk, uh, um, but I would feel the pain was just was so much. It was too much. I couldn't walk a long distance because I used to use a train uh, to go to work. And then I've stopped using the train because there is quite a distance. It's like 20 minutes walk because of the pain. I would just feel, who am I? What am I going to use from the station to come back home? So I decided to just go for the bus, of which the bus is very expensive. And um, uh, the bus stop is, is nearby where I stay. And for my kids as well, it was just... Uh, I think it was just the same story even to my husband. Every day I'll tell them, you know what, I'm, I'm feeling pain. Like my leg is just paining me. They were all, I think, annoyed with the, the situation because um, every time I would complain to my husband or complain to my kids, like um, I'm feeling this pain and they couldn't help me. I've gone to the hospitals with this uh, problem. They said to me, no. There's no cure for it. So I decided to just live with the pain. Um, even if I sleep, when I wake up in the morning to uh, put my feet on the ground, I would feel the pain was just killing me even so much. I've used the, the first aid here, the ice pack, just to subside the pain. I've used some inflammation cut uh, pills to just try and subside the pain because I was just dying. And I've used also this, uh, these are the, some of the pain um, ointment that I used to rub. I'll tell my kids to just rub as much as they can, but no avail. Oh. So um, it happened that almost to the end of January, I was just scrolling my TV and I realized on YouTube, I realized uh, there was a message from Brother Chris of forgiveness. From that moment, I listened to the mute to the message. I just find that I was just crying. It just hit my heart that I need to forgive for me to receive the, the, the God's favor, God's healing. Yeah, I needed to forgive everyone who has offended me or else, whether I have offended or not, but I have to forgive. I knew I had to forgive. And then I prayed to God that night. And then that's when I requested the prayer uh, request um, on God's heart TV. During the week, I received the message that um, uh, I have to join the Zoom meeting, which was on the 2nd of February, 2024. It was just a privilege to join the meeting, the prayer meeting from Brother Chris. 
is the is brother Chris came in, he was just praying and I was just asking God um for uh for the healing and for all other stuff which I'm um I just want God to do for me in my life. But the the main thing I didn't focus on it, which was the healing of the neck. I was just focusing on uh, uh, on my job, like to God, um, to to give me um, the grace to have the job which I'm looking for. But to my greatest surprise, it was the healing that yeah, which was um, I wasn't expecting. You know, now uh, after the after the prayer, I can walk. I can do anything to the glory of God. Yeah, yeah, I am. Now I can even march for the glory of God. I can march for the glory of God. I can, I can, I can, I can dance. I can, I can, I can even stand on my toes. Yeah, I am standing on my toes, which I couldn't do. I couldn't do all these things. I couldn't do. I couldn't. I couldn't even touch the place because the place is just here. It was so painful. I just gave go to glory to God. No pain, no pain. So uh, my way of advice goes like this. People of God, we have to have a hearing heart. Like we have to forgive for God to place us with anything that we're looking for. It's just forgiveness first. And yeah, in seek him face, everything is possible. God, all things are possible. He can do everything exceedingly we just have to have the heart that is willing to just to pray is all in our hearts as we move as we do whatever we do we have to be praying each and every uh, time